All right, guys, this is a quick training on how to remove and replace the water control valve and the bypass valve on rain tankless water heaters. For sake of training, we're gonna be using a drill because this is a training unit, but on a live heater, we recommend using a Phillips screwdriver with the magnetic tip. First and foremost, you wanna make sure the heater is off and also unplugged from power. Also make sure the heater is drained. That way, when you remove the components inside, we're not leaking water inside of the cabinet more than what's already happening. So first step you're gonna do is remove the cover. Once it's removed, you wanna remove three connectors from the control board. Flame rod one, blue connector, flame rod two, white connector, Top left, your fan connector also removes. The next step is to remove your control board. Three screws, one here, and two in the bottom, one here and one there. The control board will then fall out of the way. Make sure you move this little tie and let the control board hang to the side. The next step is locating the water control valve, which is right here. It's held in place by two clips, one larger than the other, so they can't be confused. In order to remove them, pull the clips out of the way. and then slight pressure on these copper pipes, pull, pull out and dislodge the valve. This is a water control valve. After this, trace the wires, the cables, the harnesses over to the control board and unplug there. No need to write down or, or record where they go to. Each connector is different. They can't be confused. Next, we're gonna remove the bypass valve. The bypass valve now has these two clamps, one and two. Each clamp has two screws. Once the clamps are removed, hold the valve and you can pull the copper supply lines out of the way. Follow the harness back to the control board, unplug it, reverse the process for reassembly.